guess you weren't. Well, be that as it may, I... I really would like to apologize for my behavior. Apology accepted. Excuse me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you're angry. Wouldn't you be? If you were trying to impress a guy's family after blowing every single chance you ever got. If you thought, hey, this, this honesty thing, it really, it really is the best policy. Look what it can do for you. Nice people being nice to you. What a novel idea. We really shouldn't have. But you did. Because I'm lying, scheming, cheating, Carly. Give her a taste of her own medicine. That's the right thing to do. Carly, I'm sorry. I trusted you. I brought my son into your home, and I know he's just a baby, but you humiliated me in front of him. Did you really think that wouldn't matter? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I told Jack that I was over what you and Lily did. But I knew as soon as you came through that door, I'm not. Oh, hi. Did he show up? Yes. He showed up. Really? How was he? I mean, um, what did he say? What are we, in fourth period? Carly, this matters, all right? I've been wandering around for hours in circles because I couldn't go back to the Oakdale court because he might show up there and I couldn't come here because he might not. Okay. So it is like high school, but all their relationships are like that. So, like, are you going to call him after class? I guess not. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? I I'm crazy. Oh, sing that I'm out. Crazy. I can't build my life around a kid that needs to get a life of his own. I'm going to let you move in with me. No, you're not. I'm offering you a port in the storm, You're Carly. trying to use me, Molly. How? If I'm living with you, then you have an excuse not to sleep with your little boy toy every time you get bored. You're right. I'm weak. And I need your help. Please help me. Oh, my God. You've got a plan. Make that plans for Jack, don't you? I think that he's about to to ask me to move into his house with him in Milltown. <laughs> Ooh, heads up. Here comes the bad news. Uh, oh, Carly, uh, about that, that place. Yeah, no, I, I know. I, listen, I really had a feeling that it would fall through, and that's okay because I completely understand. No, no, in fact, it, it, it's all set. You can move in today if you want. Parker, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you that I'm going to do everything I can to make this work. I'm going to scrub the floors with a toothbrush. I'm going to I'm going to clean toilets. I'm going to do everything possible. Well, you, okay? they, you, might, you might be taken up on that, <laughs> but are, are you sure you really want to do this? Because um, I, I know you really want to move into the city. No, no. After living in that motel by the highway, I've had my fill of people in traffic. Well, the the house is definitely quiet. House with real yard for Parker to play and. And toddle and roll in the grass. <laughs> well, I'm glad it makes you so happy. I'm ecstatic. Great. Then great. You could follow Emma home and move into the farm tonight. At the courtyard. You know, you, you understand. Well, that, that's fantastic. That's very nice. Yeah. It's wonderful. <laughs> uh, I've always said that the rural life is not for everyone. Mm. You know, actually, I've been thinking my apartment's a little small. We can make it work. We could. We could. But we really should think of Parker's best interest here. I mean, I really think he'd be happier on the farm with all the animals, the fresh air, all that acreage. Jack's right. You should move in with Emma. All righty, then. <laughs> Thank you for your very kind offer. I accept. <clears throat> but just until I get back on my feet. Well, good, 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 good. We'll all look forward to that who were employed by the newspaper actually read it. What? Jake, Jake McKinnon's wife was killed horribly in a plane that exploded over Lake Michigan. Oh my Last God. night, a front page of the paper on top of the fold, okay? And Jake is in England. He's with Vicky's kids. Poor guy. And his wife. That, that, that's really horrible. It is horrible. It's horrible for you, too, because with him out of commission, you're going to have to deal with me. I wasn't thinking that, Lucinda. For example, your column. It just got emailed. You've got to rewrite it. It's garbage. No way. I beg your pardon? Yeah. 
I am through writing those heavy breathing columns, even if it costs me my job. I am through sharing my sexcapades with the public. If you want sex in the city, well, then you hire Sarah Jessica Parker. Jake McKinnon hired you over my objections to titillate the readership. Are you saying that you are unable to live down to your reputation? Oh, see, now that is exactly what I don't intend to oh, do. Oh, we're going moral on us? No, we... I'm going maternal on you. Maternal? Yeah. I had a daughter when I was a teenager. Do you remember Please, that? please. I'm Holden's mother-in-law. I know all about it. Yeah, well, we have a chance to meet her, and Holden and I both want that opportunity very much. What has that got to do with your column? Everything. Everything, Lucinda. If you're a teenage girl, do you really want to see that your mother's scandalizing the world with her sexploits? No. And, and besides the fact, her adoptive mother has already put me on warning, okay? So I want to tone down my column. And if it costs me my job, well, then so be it. Who would have thought it? What? I never would have dreamed that you had it in you. Yeah, well, until now, neither did I. And you'd be willing to lose your job. You think that you could rewrite this column expressing the values that you have just expressed to me here? If it means seeing my daughter, well, then absolutely. I'm very pleased. Let's see what the public thinks of the new sensitive Molly Connor. What I can help you with, maybe, um, I don't know, feed the chickens or slop the hogs. Oh, all done. All done. I feed my animals by five o'clock and, uh, milk the cows by six at least. <laughs> my. They never get a chance to sleep in then. Warm hours are from sunrise to sunset, seven days a week. Why well, don't you worry? Don't you worry? You're not here as a hired hand. Oh, to help? Well, if you're sure that you don't need any help, then. Besides, you got a job at Al's, uh, Al's, uh, diner. There's some fresh muffins in there, and there's some milk in the icebox, if you feel like it. Thanks. <laughs> oh, oh. You really, you really love all this, huh? It gives me joy every day of my life. <laughs> yeah, farm's a living thing. Mm. Has to be tended, just like children. If you're lazy and you just let it go, then it just runs wild. Yeah, but if you put your heart in it, mm, it gives you back so much life. I think that's wonderful, I really do. Of course, that's not for everybody, sure enough. You just try me. Oh. What is oh, no, that? That's, that's, that's bacon grease. That's for the birds, sweetheart. It's the other can. So, Jack thinks you can change. Move your life around. What do you think? I think I'm going to do the best I can. Good. Then I'll help you. I'm sure you will. No, no, no. I mean it. I mean it. No tricks. You know what Lily and I did? It was... Well... I'm going to try and make up for that if I can. You just put that on the stove. It's an old-fashioned kind. You turn the burner on. Oh. Huh. So. Okay. Yeah. You know, come to think of it, who, who really needs all these appliances that we have nowadays? You know, the, the waffle maker and the, the, the bread warmer. The stove seems to do everything, right? Mm, stove, that old fire, you know? They even used to put curling irons in there and curl their hair with it. So no I kidding. Hear. <laughs> Give me the beauty parlor any time, though. <laughs> oh, oh! What? What? Oh, no, 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 no. Those, those are my Brussels sprouts. Those are, those are my, my best seller at the oh, farmer's I'm market. Sorry. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I, no, actually, it looked like garbage no, to me. No, 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 no. No, actually, we put those browns in the garden. Don't mm -hmm. throw them away. Here, let me, let me do this. Let me okay. do this. Just, um, just make yourself some coffee, all right? Okay, thank you. Here. The can of over there. Oh, Lord. Pick those up one by one, you know. Not funny. There's nothing about any of this that's funny. 